So do yeah. another question that's asked a lot is do quartz worktops chip easily? Quartz worktops, no, I would say you could put you would you wouldn't say quartz, you would say stone. Stone is the way everyone needs to go forward with that is yeah, people will presume they go, does my quartz worktop chip and things like that. Any stone worktop will chip if you hit it a hard enough or if you hit it at the wrong angle. It, it does depend. So yeah, not think we could include any of them. We can include granite, we can include quartzes, sintered stone, the deptons, things like that. The weak point is always going to be the edge of the worktop. Yeah. Now, obviously, they all come with different profiles and things like that. So if you put more of a rounded profile onto it, perfect. Because then if you do accidentally hit it, it's highly likely that it will sort of, you know, shear away from the worktop. If you've got a pencil edge, which is what most people tend to have, a sort of pencil chamfer top and bottom, yes, there's a slight resistance there. It's why you could never have it perfect 90 degrees. But yes, yeah, sadly, if you did smack it with a frying pan or you caught it with something, any one of those work tops, regardless if it be our branding or someone else's, yeah, unfortunately, you would you could potentially chip the work top. Um, and it's no manufacturer would come out and look at chipping. It's accidental. It does happen. Everybody does it. It's just you've got to try and be as careful as you can not to do it, basically. We found the most vulnerable area is definitely around the sink. You know, you're lifting <coughs> big pans yeah. and stuff in all the It's in that such high traffic. Time. I think that's the thing. We find it a lot with them um, underneath where the dishwasher is because people yeah. don't fully pull the drawers out and we all do it. We try and cram a frying pan in there. Um, but a lot of people do it and you do get the little tiny dinks underneath. So we just say to it, just be a bit careful. You know, if you're taking something out the sink, lift something up and over onto the drainer board. You know, if you're doing something in a dishwasher, don't try and cram it in. Just open the dishwasher up, pull the drawers out and take it out. But yeah, it's just about being careful. You don't have to treat it like, you know, it's cotton wool. But um, yeah, just try and be a bit more careful. It's certainly, like you say, the high traffic areas around the sink and near a dishwasher, it, it can happen. Or if you know you've got, a, you've got a family like mine, buy something which doesn't show chips up so easily because mine is uh, also chips around, around the dishwasher area. So I, um, I, um, I had my worktops fitted and literally within about two weeks, I took a frying pan out of the sink and I just tiny little dink on the sink no one else would see it, but I know it's there. So the, like yeah. I said, it doesn't matter even if you're in the industry or you're not. Accidents do happen. It's a stone worktop. It's just, yeah, the more careful you are, the less likely it is to happen, basically. I think there are things you can do, like uh, have a flush-mounted sink rather than an under-mounted sink. It definitely gives you that extra protection on the edge because it becomes a stainless steel edge rather than a, yeah. than a stone. Don't have children. Don't have children. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I agree with that one. 